Hello friends, today we are going to study with you the passive advanced structures. In this lesson we are going to revise passive structures and learn advanced passive structures. The key terms of our today's lessons are passives, gerunds and definitives, modal verbs and some verbs used in passive structures. Uh, have you known that the match was invented after the cigarette lighter? So once you have learned this fact, now Let's use this sentence in order to remember the passive. The match was invented after the cigarette lighter. Who invented it? We don't know, by somebody. And that's not important. Especially in the passive, the subject is not important. Because the passive means that we say that action happened, but we don't know or we don't want to say who did it. But what is important is object, where here it matches, and the structure of passive is its auxiliary of the tense plus verb 3. In this situation it is was, it's past, past simple. So we can say it's past passive. Now let's move on and let's look at the advanced structures of passives. First of all we start with models and our first example is everyone should be encouraged to sit at home during the epidemic. So here, as you can see, uh, by the government, which subject is not very important, we just don't uh, consider that. Now let us look at it. Everyone, it's an object, people. Should is modal verb, and be is auxiliary, plus verb three, encouraged. So we have the passive structure, modal verb plus passive structure. Another example can be cities, should have been locked down earlier. So by the government again subject, and here we have cities object, should have, this is look, should is model verb, and when we have past models, we have should plus have plus verb three in this situation, we can say past model plus auxiliary been, because it's past, it changed be, changed to been, and we have locked verb three. So it's past model plus auxiliary. So there are two possible variants for advanced structures with models in the present tense and in the past. So now let's move on. Now let's look at the advanced structures with infinitive and gerund. It's a bit slightly different than models because look, I hope to be understood by you, by students. In this situation we have a subject, I, and we have a verb, hope, which is uh, followed by an infinitive and in this situation to be it's infinitive and be is a part of auxiliary for passive and we have understood its verb 3 so it is an it looks like an active sentence where a passive structure is used the example with gerund is I hate being put on lockdown. Hate is followed by ing. So instead of, look, instead of be, we have being, where b is auxiliary. Uh, ing is for gerund. And we have put on, it is verb 3. So this is about infinite and gerund. It's the same. It looks like an active sentence with a passive structure in it. Uh, this also shows a complex structure which you will study uh, further maybe in the 11th grade. So now let's move on and look at uh, some verbs which are also used in passive advanced structures. Generally these verbs are think, believe, say, now, report and some others. Let's look at the examples and look at them. It is said that garlic is extremely useful against viruses. So here it's a uh, special construction it plus passive plus z. It's said that, it's believed that, it's so that, it's known that, it's reported that. We can use this to express an idea or opinion about something. The next one is the lockdown is reported to cause some ecological benefits. So everybody is at home and you have some benefits. Here the structure is a bit different. Here we have subject, which is the lockdown, is reported, is passive, 
and we have a present infinitive uh, to cause and we use this to express a belief about present so everybody is sitting at home and the air became cleaner the next one is the virus is sold to have caused serious fatalities the virus is sold to have caused as you can see here we use a past infinitive to have caused so in this situation we present a belief about past event uh, yes it have caused already fatalities serious fatalities throughout the world and the last one is the Hispanic virus was also believed to cause serious fatalities. It was in the beginning of 20th century when the Hispanic virus uh, killed a lot of people. In this situation we use also subject but here we use past passive plus present infinitive to express belief about the past. So have a look at the whole picture of these structures. So passive can be used not only to hide the subject but also to express some ideas, opinions, beliefs in the present and past. So the phrase of the today's lesson is it's easier said than done. About the passives we should sit at home and keep calm. So the conclusion of the today's lesson is there are various uses of passive in different situations. And there can be a passive structure with subject, which should be also kept in mind. Here are the pages in your Solutions Upper Intermediate Third Edition Students Book, page 63 and Workbook 66, if you wish to revise and do some exercises. The reference for the fact about the match and cigarette lighter can be seen here from this link. Thank you. See you guys.